Epiphany. You know, Christmas is still Christmas today. Actually, at 12 midnight tonight, Christmas will end. Because today is the Feast of the Lord's Baptism. I said that in the email. I don't know if you read the email. I did something to my computer. I wiped out the whole page. Everything, because I was getting so much junk around. And I was trying to... Including mine! Oh. <laughs> Part of it, I was like, oh no. I didn't know what to do. Yes, you're right. Including yours. Epiphany of the Lord. There's something profound about Pippin. What did you hear in the Mass yesterday? <sighs> the three kings. The three kings. What else? That's it? What is the main thrust of the homily? <laughs> What I really, uh, that kind of struck me was that taking the risk to follow God, um, that, that was really um, something powerful. That's, up to, that's a very good one. But that's the second part of it. It's a very good one. The second part. Because there is a first part. You have to decide to follow. Because, alright, you take the risk, but, but you have to decide first. The intent and the desire should be so much so that so that you don't mind about the risk. Right? Right. <clears throat> so we will we will discuss this uh, epiphany. By the way, what is epiphany? What does that mean? That word? Manifestation. Yes, manifestation. Right. She's reading. <laughs> Let's see. Shepherds. The shepherds. Is that okay? Yeah. No. Not okay. Why? What do you mean not okay? Not okay because the three kings did not come and did not see the, 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 the baby mm -hmm. on the manger. It was days after, many days after. The baby was already in a, in a comfortable room. Oh? Before they saw him. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Understand? <laughs> See, yes, this thing you will learn only in the Bible class. <laughs> the three kings, remember, it took them many, many days before they could reach yeah. where the babe, uh, Bethlehem. And the holy family didn't stay many days in the in the in the stable. They were only there for one or two nights at most, and then they moved to a more comfortable house. Can you ask the question I didn't? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't, these are things that, that uh, you probably never heard of before. But a lot of people, they think of, if you, even if you read the account in the Bible, it took them many days. Well, yeah, because they, they were contemplating until they finally made move, and, and it did take them. They, they were coming from another country, apparently. And the star was there all that time? The star was there all the time. Now, let's talk about the star. <laughs> These are things that have been popping your eyes. The wide of the horizon. The star. What does the star represent? Light. Hmm? Light. In a way. 
But there's a more precise, more specific meaning for the star. Direction. Star is the core. <coughs> star is the core. What is your star? Maybe a priest, maybe an ordinary person like me, maybe a friend, maybe a family member, would call you to get closer to God. Right? And that's what the star is all about. Number one, those three were not kings. They were not kings. They were called Magi. Magi means wise men. Maybe ancient astronomers, who knows? Nobody really knows. But if you open your Bible to Psalm 72, that's why some people say they're kings. Psalm 72. Psalm 72, let me turn it off first. Turn it off first. 